Good morning to all our grade two learners. Welcome to another lesson. Today we are having an English lesson and we are looking at language. Orange. Okay. And we are going to practice uh, looking at the word because there are some people who are trying to join in. So that's why I slowed down a bit so that we can all start at the same time so that we are together at the same time. Imani, yes. we've been waiting for you, my dear. You are most welcome. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Nice to see you this morning. Please remove your wood, Imani. I want to see your beautiful face. I want to see your head as well. Right, thank you. Right, Imani, I was uh, uh, saying to the others that this morning we're having a lesson and our lesson it is for English language and we're looking at how to use the word because. All right, we're going to join sentences using the word because. This is the word that you are using and I want you to take it down first of all, while you are waiting for Unati. That is your heading for this morning and it says because. When do we use this word? What does it mean? It's a bit of a longish word. You should know how to spell it. I'm done. I'm, done. C -C I'm not done. S -E. I'm not done. Right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Right. Done. 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 Right, Jeremy. I'm done. Chikede. Jeremy Chigede, are you listening to me? Let us behave ourselves. And if you are done, you only say it once. You don't have to shout and scream and jump. Is that clear? Otherwise, yes. Or so you just raise your hand as Talbot has showed us. All right. So now we are going to listen. All right, when we use the word because, and I'm going to give you some sentences which you are also going to use that word because. All right, so the word because it will tell us why something has happened. It's as if it is a reason why something has happened or why we are doing something. All right, it's as if we are explaining that I have done this thing, the reason why I have done this thing is this and that, all right? So I am going to give yeah. a sentence, all right? And there are two sentences actually which I'm going to give you and you are going to join them by, the, by using the word because, all right? For example, I've got this sentence, it says Sam, listen first, it says Sam writes a story. That is the first sentence. Sam writes a story, and the second sentence says, it is his homework. So there are two sentences that I've given you. Sam writes a story, it is his homework. So I want to join those two sentences, all right, using the word because. So here is my sentence. Can you see my sentence? Yes. Right, Sam writes a story, dash, it is his homework. So I want to join those two sentences. There's a reason why Sam is writing that story. What is the reason? Remember we said the word because it tells us, it gives us a reason why something is happening. So Sam writes a story, dash, it is his homework. And we are going to use that word which I've already given you. You've already written it down. You've got the spelling because. Then you're going to read your sentence when you are done so that you can hear now the sentence in full. I'm not done. It's okay. Write and finish. I'm waiting for you. I'm giving you just a minute to finish up. Unati, Unati, can you hear me? You are most welcome. You are joining us now. Unati, we are having a lesson and it is for English language and we are looking for the because. Unati, can you check out that word? This is the word that you are using to communicate. Yes, I will. It's not done. It's not done. Unati, Unati, can 
Unati, can you take that word down? Because we are using that word, Unati. And I only want to see you in the video, Unati. I just complete my questions. Sam writes a story, dash, it is his homework. Why is Sam writing stories? I just hang on, uh, Imani, just a second. I'll come to you there. And your device, Unati, we want to see you. Can they help you with your device? Can they fix your device? I need to see you at all. I am only seeing the ceiling there, Unati. Right. So we are done. That's it. We... No, I'm not done. Jeremy, not done. Right. Imani, can you read your sentence for me? What does it say, Imani? Sam writes a story because it is her homework. Right. His homework. Right. That's correct. Uh, Uparo, can you read your sentence for me? Uparo. Sam writes a story because it is his homework. Right. Very correct, Kyle. Can I hear you? <laughs> His homework is. They are starting here, Sam. Sam. Yes, yes. Sam. Sam wants a story. Kyle, Sam writes. Sam writes a story. A story. Yes. Yes. I want the answer there for this. What did you say? Because. Remember, we said we are joining our two sentences using the word because. So Sam writes a story because. Because he is. He is. He is. He is. Right. Jeremy, together. You still want Sam to. Sam writes. A story because it is his homework. Kyle, please, no fingers in your nose, please, Kyle. Tell me. Sam writes a story because it is his homework. Right. So we have managed to join two sentences. Sam is doing something and we want to know why. Sam is writing a story and the reason why he's writing it, it is because it is his homework. All right? Is that okay? Right. Yeah. So the next one is going to be number two. There's something again that is happening and there's a reason why something is happening. All right? I need new shoes. Yes, my old shoes have holes. Right. So let's quickly check that one down and complete that sentence again with the word because. I, I need new shoes. There's a reason why you need new shoes. And the word because is, uh, is going to tell us the, the reason why you need okay. new shoes. And remember, we don't need to start a sentence with because. It's not correct for you to start a sentence by saying because. Unati? Unati? Can you hear me? You are not talking, Onati. Right, just quickly. I cannot see. Just quickly. It's all right. done. Right, thank you, Kyle. Done. Wow. I'm not yet done. Just quickly finish up. Just finish up. I need new shoes. Dash my old shoes have holes. Why? So we join that sentence using the word because. Hi, can you read your sentence for me? Please? I need 
New shoes. Have fun. What did you say here? Which word? What is this word, Kyle? Kyle? Which word are you using to join the sentences, Kyle? Mm. You are still thinking, Kyle, you have forgotten the word which you are supposed to use to join the sentence? Right, let's help uh, Kyle, Talbot. Let's help him. What should we say? Start from here. I. New shoes. I. Because. I need new shoes because my old shoes have holes. Right, that is correct. Can I hear your sentence, Imani? I need new shoes because my old shoes have holes. I have my shoes. Mufaro. Right, you seem to be using new the Mufaro. Right. So sentence. My own pause. All right. Right. Let's go on to our next sentence quickly. That is now your number three. Tom was happy. You need to know why Tom was happy. So Tom was happy. That is your first sentence. He won the game. Let's complete that sentence. Let's join the two sentences using the word because. Why was Tom happy? Let's find out why Tom was happy. Why? There you go. Tom was happy. He Tom was happy. He won the game. Join the two sentences. Tom was happy. He won the game. Just oh, wait, just a second. Let's all pick the finish up. I'm done. I'm done. We are all done now. Not yet. Who is going to read the first kind? Can you read for me first today, Tom? Tom was. Happy because he won the game. Right. Thank you, Kyle. All right. Remember, when you read, we should try and make sure that it flows. All right. Tom was happy because he won the game. Jeremy, can I hear you, please? Jeremy? Tom was Tom was happy. What does it say? Tom was Tom was happy. He, he because he won the game. Right. Tom was happy because let's join the two sentences. Talbot, let's join them. Tom, Talbot. Tom was happy because he won the game. Right, Mufaro. I'm coming. Tom to was time. happy. Uh, Tom uh, was happy because he won the game. Right, Imani. Tom was happy because he won the game. Brave, Machinga Udala, the last one now. Brave. Tom was happy. Right, thank you. Unati, you seem to be holding your shift there. Are you with us, Unati? Wakey, wakey, what is in your ear, Unati? Stop. Unati? 
Unati, let's pay attention, start here. Unati, you are talking to someone there. Unati, start here at home. Hello, was happy because Unati. Tom was happy because he 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 won. He won. He He won. He He won. He won. He 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 Unati, so let us pay attention. Let's not be talking and chatting there at the same time, all right? This is your time to do your schoolwork. Right, here is the next sentence. Jane has a new dress. That is the first sentence. Jane has a new dress. The old one is torn. All right, Jane has a new dress. The old one is torn. Let's join those two sentences once more using the word because. There's a clue there where you are supposed to join those two sentences there. Let's quickly finish up. Let's quickly finish up. Jane has a new dress. The old one is torn. There's a reason why Jane has got a new dress and we are told it is because the old one is now torn. So let's join those two sentences. Jane has a new dress. The old one is torn. Oh, not to your device. I'm not seeing you. I can see. I can't see you, Unati. I can see. Right, there you are. Jane has a new dress. The old one is torn. Right, I'm sure we are now done joining those two sentences. I'm not done. Right. I'm not done. Let me hear your sentence, Kyle. Join the two sentences. Jane. 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 Yes. 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 A. No. 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 What's this word, Kyle? No. Dress. No. The, uh, dress. 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 Because. Yes. They. The. Out. One. One. Is. Torn. That word says torn. torn. Right. Thank you. Jane has a new dress. Right. Uh, read your answer for me, Talbot. Quickly. Can you read your answer, Talbot? I want you to read it for me. So far, okay, Jane, put down. Has a new dress. Jane has a new dress because the old one is torn. Very good. Mufaro, can you read your answer? Mufaro? Imani, read your answer for me quickly so that we can do the last one. Can I read? A new, a new dress because the old one is torn. Mufaro, I wanted you to read for me your answer. What did you write? A new dress because the old one is Torn. Very good. Jeremy Chikede. Jane has a new dress because the old one is torn. All right. Thank you. So we're going to write our last sentence. So that now will be number five. So let's write the last sentence. And there are two sentences. The first one says, I feed the dog. And the other one, it is 
hungry. Let's join those two sentences. I feed the dog, it is hungry. Why are you feeding the dog? Let's join those two sentences and we make one sentence and we join them using the word because. I feed the dog, it is hungry. I feed the dog, it is hungry. There you go. I feed the dog. That's the first sentence. I feed the dog. Each is hungry. Join the two sentences, Kyle. Let's quickly finish up our work, Kyle. Kyle, here is the first sentence. I feed the dog. And you should join. There's a dash there. Join the two sentences. I feed the dog. It is hungry. Let's finish up. Mufaro, no brothers and sisters, please. No little brothers and sisters, Mufaro, I can see. They're even pushing them away. Albert, please read your sentence for me. Dad. 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 Right, listen, Talbot is, is reading. Talbot, I? I eat the dog because it is hungry. Right, thank you, Mufaro. Read your sentence. Can I, I eat yes. the dog because it yes. is hungry? Right. Can I read? Jeremy, Jeremy, can you read your answer? Teacher, yes. can I read? Last way. I feed the dog because it is hungry. Imani? Imani? Because it is hungry. Right, thank you. Well, now to know we can see you properly. Teacher, can I read? Hi, read quickly. Hi, hi. I feed the dog. Because it is hungry. Onati? Onati, can you read for me? I? That's the way to behave, it's Onati. Onati, please. Because it's hungry. Behave, Machinga Uta, I? I feed the dog. <laughs> Right, thank you. Right, so today we are practicing to join sentences and we are joining sentences using the word because. So we should be able to spell that word and we should be able to join sentences. And remember, we say the word because it will tell us, it shows us that there's a reason why something is happening. So remember, you're going to do a pattern after this when our lesson is over. You do a pattern and you check for work in your Google Classroom. So this afternoon, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be joining sentences again using the word because. So bye-bye. See you tomorrow again for another lesson. Bye. 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 Bye.